when I tried the food for the first time at Balkan Treat Box, it really brought me back to my childhood because when I was a kid, my dad was in the Air Force and we lived in Turkey for a few years. And the food that they're making at Balkan Treat Box is extremely authentic and reminiscent of real Turkish food. So I thought that what I would demonstrate for you today is Turkish kofta which essentially are these wonderful, spicy little meatballs that are grilled and then served with bob ganoush and a yogurt sauce. It's wonderful and it's easy and quick. I have a pound of ground beef here in my bowl. My first addition to the bowl is grated onion. You find grated onion used a lot in Indian cooking and also Mediterranean cooking. It really brings out the flavor and the aroma and just the pungency of that onion. I need just about a half cup, so that should do it right in the bowl. Now I'm gonna add in about half a cup of fresh breadcrumbs. Very easy to make. You just take some bread, dry it out in the oven, and then pulse it in your food processor. So there we go. Now I'm also going to add in about half a cup of parsley two minced garlic cloves. One trick if you want your garlic to break down to become a little bit more kind of pulpy in a way is to add salt when you're chopping it. The extra friction from the salt and also just the salt itself will start pulling all the juices out of that garlic. Next up, we're going to add two teaspoons of chopped fresh oregano. We love fresh herbs. If you don't have fresh oregano, obviously you can use dried, but the pungency of the fresh is really gonna add so much flavor and aroma. And now, the spices. So this is sumac, and it's a beautiful kind of rusty color. It has almost a lemony, citrusy flavor to it. You find this in a lot of Middle Eastern restaurants. If you're looking for the entire recipe, all of the amounts, just go to feastmagazine.com and in the Feast TV section, all the recipes are there. A Little bit of cumin and this is hot paprika. It's gonna have a nice amount of heat. I'm gonna put in a little bit more salt and some pepper as well. And I'm going to mix together some water, lemon juice, and baking soda. And I'm gonna add that to this mixture. And then I'm going to knead this mixture for about 10 minutes to get it thoroughly combined. So my kofta mixture is resting behind me and now I'm gonna make the baba ganoush and my yogurt sauce. Now, baba ganoush, magic of television, I already roasted this eggplant over my grill yesterday. And all you need to do to roast an eggplant is take the whole eggplant, poke some holes in it, and then put it on the grill, or you can also inside put it over your, uh, your gas burner on your stove if you have one. And you wanna cook it for about half an hour until it is absolutely falling apart and collapsing as you can see here. Then you take the eggplant and you put it either in a plastic container or a paper bag to let it steam. And what you'll end up with is this. All of the flesh kind of falls away from the skin and it's gonna have this beautiful smoky character to it. Make sure you scrape off any of the flesh that is still kind of clinging to that skin. I'm just mashing my eggplant up just so it is broken up a little bit before I add in the rest of my ingredients. All right, I'm gonna put in just a couple of garlic cloves. You want your garlic to be something of a paste because you don't wanna end up with chunks of garlic in the baba ganoush. You want it to very smoothly and evenly spread throughout the dip. Next up, in goes half a cup of tahini. This is where the magic happens with baba ganoush. Aside from the smoky, beautiful, kind of almost sweet flavor of the eggplant, tahini adds so much flavor 
Tahini is kind of like peanut butter made out of sesame seeds. It, all it is is ground up sesame seeds. That's it. But the flavor is incredibly complex and it is the key to a good baba ganoush. So now I'm gonna add in a little bit of cumin and some more of that hot paprika. And then I'm adding in the juice of one lemon. And add in some salt and a good hit of pepper. All right, now I'm just gonna make a very quick yogurt sauce. This is whole milk yogurt. If you really want to, you can use the lower fat yogurts, but you're not gonna get the same kind of flavor. So I recommend that you use the whole milk. And again, just gonna put in some lemon juice, salt and pepper, and a garlic clove. Last bit, I'm gonna go ahead and make little meatballs and thread them onto skewers. I have my meatballs on their skewers. I've already preheated my grill pan. It's on medium high. So my kofta is finished and it is fragrant and gorgeous. And I'm going to be serving this with some fresh pita bread, some sliced red onion, and then I have my baba ganoush and my yogurt sauce. Both of these I've topped with a good dose of olive oil. And I am pairing my Turkish delight with a rosé from KC Wineworks. They make really lovely urban wines. This particular rosé is made from the Chamberson grape, which is one of our native hybrid grapes here in Missouri. The rosé is gonna go really nicely with all of the spices and the lemon and all that garlic. So the next time you're looking for something interesting to grill, try something Turkish. Cheers, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>